All right, good evening. I'm going to go over today how to set up trans brake two step um, on your Terminator X. I know it's been covered a couple times by a couple different channels. I know Matt Happel over at Sloppy's done it. That uh, the Devin guy, he's done it. He's pretty knowledgeable on the Holly stuff. But I thought I'd give it a shot too. Um, clapped out uh, Rye and Logan. They've covered this, but uh, I believe. Now, speaking of Rye, I stole his picture from him. So, shout out to Rye. Good friend, met him at Drag Week. Crayon Eater uh, from the Marine Corps, but oh well, he makes fun of, he made fun of me too. So, the important thing here is that your inputs are wired to ground. Now, I did it opposite of him. I have trans brake over here, bump over here. That really doesn't matter. Two inputs wired to ground, and then your output. I did it exactly this way. I used the nitrous solid state relay from Holly or NOS, and I have the arm switch in my dash. Orange to power, switch power, black and yellow goes to the output on the ECU, and then your blue goes to your trans brake solenoid. You got the wiring out of the way, and you've done all that. Let's go into the software of Terminator X. This is my tune file right here. All right, we go to the system parameter page or tab, and we're looking at basic I.O. So we go over to staging, and I have enabled single pulse, or you can do duty cycle if you want to creep in instead of bump in. I have it set to 50 thousandths of a second, you can adjust that based on how your solid state relay reacts. Next, go to the spark tab and look up rev limiters. And I have my main rev limiter at 7,000 and then rev limiter one at 3,500. I'll probably bump both of these up once tracks open up and the world has stopped coming to an end. So again, this one here, and basic I.O. staging. Once you've got both of those, on your pin map, you'll have in the inputs and the outputs right in here, right where mine says boost minus solenoid. I don't know who wants boost minus, but you should want all of the boost. So on inputs, Drag rev limiter one, staging input, and then because I have a turbo car, I put my trans brake launch in here. Nitrous and all motors guys, you're not gonna have that one. You're just gonna have rev, rev limiter one and staging input one. And then, again, because I have a turbo car and I wanna bump into the line, I have staging input two there. If you have an all motor or nitrous car, just leave staging input one up here. I also, because I have a turbo car and I like to party, I have my bump button. My staging input two is also my boost plus. So if I hit that going down the track and I'm in second or third gear and I need to put a couple more bus links on somebody, I'll hit my bump button and that will give me an additional five pounds on the gate. So that's your two inputs, staging rev limiter one and staging input one, and then staging input two on a separate uh, output, or input rather. We'll go to the output, and then we have staging output. That is what goes to your yellow and black wire on your solid state relay. Once all that's done, go ahead, <clears throat> in your garage or maybe out in your driveway and give it a test. I did it, I was hard on the brakes, engaged the trans brake, came up hard on the brake, hard on the gas, and it worked. Made some nice little pop, 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 pop sounds, and then Bob's your uncle. Then I went to work and I shot a video that I'm gonna link up right following this and Tested out my uh, 
my two-step and my bump function. And then my coworker shot the video. So the video is a little raw. It uh he filmed it and then he sent it to me in a text message. So it it the resolution is a little messy, but you can still the endpoint is still the same. You can see how it wor works. So now that we got all that out of the way, you can see it's just that easy, right? The Holly makes things super simple. Way better than HP tuners. Ace, whatever fucking Ventura from drop log motor, motor, whatever the fuck performance. Ditch HP tuners. Get rid of the factory ECU. Step up the Holly. You will, you, you'll be mind blown and wondered why the fuck you even bother with HP tuners in the first place. Any questions? Drop a drop a comment. All right. Wash your hands. Cover your face. Shower. Whatever. All right. Good night.